What's up, everybody? Welcome back for the next part of this game. Alright. So, yeah, definitely off to an interesting start. Tommy's already got Brown monopolized, which, again, it is only Brown, so, I mean, it's not you got you know, that chance with great the or anything, but it's Tommy still something. Especially early on in the game, that can be quite useful. Oh, this is thrilling stuff. Anything when you monopolize it early on in the game is going to be pretty fucking useful. So, yeah. It's looking pretty well developed here. Yeah, so he's going to hold off on hoteling it for now, but... Still, even four houses on brown is not bad. Especially, again, this early on in the game, that is not bad. Alright, so red, that's going to be AI Avenue. That's going to go to Phil. Could be interesting. I hear a new did. Alright. You just bought yourself a property. What do you say? Buy or auction? Ah, Newton's Orchard. That is also going to go to Phil. Interesting. I hear a new bid. It's all yours. You rolled a double. You get another chance with the dice. It's up to you. Buy okay. Or auction. So again, like I was talking about last time, as per the rules that I play by, I only allow characters to get four monopolies right off the bat. Phil has already reached that limit. So in this particular circumstance, since pink is still unclaimed, it will be auctioned off to the person who has the least amount of properties in the interest of keeping the game interesting and fair. So... In this case, it will be auctioned off to Lil. I wonder what's going to happen here. Because she currently owns nothing. So Lil will get pink. Well done. You're now a proud property owner. No, oh, that sucks. It's gonna be dishing out a 150 there. 50 to each person. Wow, damn, Lil just cannot stay out of jail today. Jesus. It's only the second part of uh, this game, and she's already been thrown in jail fucking twice. Literally, she got thrown in jail on her first fucking turn. <laughs> oh, wow. Jail time for him, too? All right, all right. Gonna be a lot of jail time for these, uh, for these younglings today. <laughs> They're getting put in time out today, man. Holy shit. Time to delve into the Chucky paying chest. 50 in doctor's fees. A double. It's your property. Just enjoy. Another double. You're the definition of a high roller. Man, some bad luck for Phil recently. Oh, 
Oh shit, where does that put him? You passed go. Oh wow. <laughs> Speaking of bad luck for Phil, Jesus. Damn. You're in jail. Good lord. Roll for a double, pay the bail, or use a get out of jail free card. If you're All right, so it looks like Lil still gonna be jamming out to the jailhouse rock for another turn. You've got three choices. Roll also joined by Tommy at the moment. Or use a get out of jail free card. If you're lucky enough to have one, make your choice. Bad luck. So no luck for either one of them. They're both still in timeout. It's up to you. Bye. All right, all right. Halogen Heights. No one owns blue yet, so that's going to go to Chucky. You just bought yourself a property. All right, now I believe that all of the properties have been accounted for. The utilities, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything is accounted for, so we'll just see who gets what first and who starts putting houses down and shit. The only one with houses down right now, obviously, is Tommy. Up to you. Pink, Five that is going options. to go to Lil. Terabyte Terrace. I'm excited. You just bought yourself a property. You're in jail. You've got three choices. Roll for a double, pay the bail, or use a get out of jail free card. If you're lucky enough to have one, make your choice. How disappointing. Yeah, no luck there. She's down. still in timeout. In jail. You've got three choices. Roll for a double, pay the bail, or use a get out of jail free card. If you're Same lucky thing for Tommy. To have one, make your choice. Hard luck. You passed go. Time to come. Oh, light blue. That's going to go to Tommy. I point. Let's do this. New bid. Well done. You're now a proud All right. property owner. So now he's one step closer to monopolizing light blue, which will be good for him if he can do it. Ooh, speaking of monopolizing shit, the sci-fi fields, that is Phil's, so he's going to buy it out, right? Well, he's starting to run low on money. He's starting to get bogged down by all these monopolies, which oftentimes can happen. You know, I've seen that a lot, where the character who starts off with the most amount of monopolies digs themselves into a big hole right off the bat and isn't really able to do much. Usually the sweet spot is about like two to three monopolies. That being said, the person who owns four monopolies, if they own four monopolies right off the bat, I mean, there's not always someone who owns four monopolies, but um, it, it's pretty common that there's at least one person who owns like four monopolies. <laughs> but the person who owns four monopolies, a lot of the times they get bogged down right off the bat. But sometimes they can make it work. Depends on what monopolies they get. If, like, one of them is the railroad monopoly, then it can work out pretty well for him. Just depends. But in Phil's case, he owns, like, all properties, so it might be a little difficult for him. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Still early on in the game, so you never know what'll happen here. And Phil's running a little low on money right now, but you never know. We'll see. You've got three choices. See what kind of shit happens. Alright, so Tommy paying that bail. Alright, and picks up... Wow, 50 bucks. Alright, so pretty much broke even on the whole bail deal. Alright, it's pretty fucking nice. You can't bitch about that too much. When you land on community chest, you need to take a card. Could be good, could be bad. But it'll always... Ooh! Now this is interesting. The bit field. So Lil is going to get her hands on the pink monopoly. She's finally going to monopolize, I should say, monopolize the pink properties. And she's got enough money to put at least one, maybe two sets of houses down. We'll see. That is interesting. 
Again, Lil, I could easily see someone winning a game just with the pink Monopoly. I've seen it done plenty of times. I think even recently there was a character who did really well with just, like, the pink Monopoly and I think maybe, like, one other thing. Or maybe it was just straight up the pink Monopoly. I can't remember. But I remember recently that I had a game where someone did really well with, like, the pink Monopoly, I think. All right, and Phil is getting thrown in jail. Or in this case, I guess, again, time out. Got some naughty children here today. Wow, you've landed on chance. And a speeding fine, so she's gonna have to cough up 15. Alright. Now this is where it gets interesting. Oh, this is thrilling stuff. She's gonna be able to put one. Maybe two sets of houses down on pink, which I mean still isn't, you know, devastating or anything, but still this early on in the game, that's pretty fucking solid. So we'll see if she's able to get lucky and capitalize off that shit. So now she becomes the second character to put some houses down. So we'll see if that investment pays off. Oh dear, you've landed on a monopoly. So yeah, Phil. Getting a little bit there. And again, usually I like to wait until characters get at least over like a thousand before I start putting houses down. Time it's usually the, the rule that I stick to. You're in jail. You've got three choices. Roll for a double, pay the bail, or use a get-out-of-jail-free card. If you're lucky enough to have one, make your choice. Great job. Rent Ooh, that's already paying off for Lil. Puts her back up over a grand. She might be able to get a third set of houses down here, depending on what happens next. Where does that put her? Yellow, maybe? Oh, no, the other utility. Okay. The oxygen generator. That's going to go to Chucky. So he's going to monopolize the utilities. Not that big of a deal. Again, it's the fucking utilities. Not really worth that much. The most you can get out of the utilities is 120. It's pretty rare that that happens anyway. So, yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of cash here or there. So, I mean, you know, it's whatever. Oh shit, I forgot to put houses down. Damn it. Double. Fuck that up a little bit, but that's alright. Has more than one transport property. Looks like this is going to be one costly trip. I mean she's barely over a grand anyway, so I can justify playing it safe for now. Chance. Could go one way or the other. Ah, alright. You pass go. So that's going to go to uh, Chucky. So I think that's the third one for him, the teleportation pad. So if he gets one more, then that'll work out pretty well for him. I hear a new bid. It's all yours. I think since Tommy's back up over a grand, he can definitely afford to uh Hotel Brown here. Might as well. Yeah. So that's pretty good. He's already got some hotels down this early in the game. A double. You get another roll of the dice. Lucky you. Landing on Dishing out a little bit there to fill. You have to pay rent. Phil's running pretty low, so he could use that right now. It's community chest. Oh, nice! Straight up advance to go. All right. You've landed on go payday. So yeah, Chucky's not in too bad a shape here. If he can get the uh, railroads monopolized, or again, transportation monopoly monopolized, he'll be in better shape. Also, if he can get that second 
blue property, the this board's equivalent of Park Place, and he'll be in very good shape. Relax, it's in your portfolio. Oh, speaking of monopolizing that shit, all right. So this is going to be good for Chucky. I'm excited. Yeah, he's going to be able to monopolize the fucking transportation shit. So now that's 200 every time someone lands on that shit. Or 400 if they get that one chance card that says pay double. So that's definitely going to help out Chucky beyond a doubt. If he can uh, get blue monopolized with the utilities and the railroads backing him up, he might actually be in pretty good shape. Let's do this. Also for Lil, let's get that third set of houses down on pink. Put her in an even better position. Again, she only has the one property, so she's going to want to try to build that up as much as possible to give herself the best shot at winning this. Ooh, this just got a lot more interesting. Holy shit, Tommy dishing out a quite a bit to Lil there. Now she should be able to get a fucking fourth set of houses down on that shit. Damn. That investment definitely paying off for Lil. Holy crap, and it's about to pay off a little bit more. Damn. She probably straight up fucking hotel that shit now. Damn! That fucking pink property! Working overtime for Lil right now. Damn! You rolled oh shit! All kinds of crazy shit going on here. Damn! Looks like Phil already on the ropes here. This early on in the fucking game. Damn! Interesting. This is shaping up to be some crazy ass fucking shit! So might as well mortgage that. His only actual monopolized one right now is red, believe it or not. Ugh. Mortgaging is great for a he only has to mortgage rejection. one, so but don't forget, let's get rid of that. Pay the money back with interest before you can claim rent again. Yeah, so Phil kind of on the ropes here already. Again, it's still early on in the game, so that is not good for him. You're the definition of a high roller. It's your property. Just enjoy. Okay, so normally since it's his, he'd buy it outright, but he doesn't have enough money, so he's going to auction it off to himself in oh, this case. This is thrilling stuff. I hear a new bid. Well done. You're now a proud property owner. Man, this is getting crazy. Is Lil already emerging to be the favorite to win this shit? Hey, this is crazy, man. Gonna be returning a little bit of money here to Tommy, but damn. Yeah, Lil easily now has enough money to throw down some hotels on fucking pink. This early on in the game. When you build houses, you increase the rent that other players pay. And she's still up over a grand. Damn. How much for the penthouse? This early on in the game, that is some crazy shit. If I was Tommy, I'd better hope that people start landing on Brown as quickly as possible. But yeah, man, this is shaping up to be a good game. Interesting. All right, well, folks, stay tuned. We'll see what kind of crazy shit happens uh, uh, next and all that good shit. Um... If I can figure out what the hell I did with my fucking remote, that'd be great. Because my, uh, my recording device uses a remote. I have no idea where the fuck I put it. Oh, there we go. All right, fantastic. Oh, my God, I'm retarded. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> that will uh, do it for this part of the game. So stay tuned for the next part of this game. And, uh, yeah, until then, peace out.